Hello folks, welcome. Linux Mint 21.3 XFCE Desktop, XFCE Desktop. Filming in 1920 by 1080 if you want to adjust your YouTube player accordingly, if necessary. All right, today I'm going to talk about uh, wallpaper or backgrounds. You can certainly bring in uh, images of the kids, the grandkids, the friends, the pets, that kind of thing, and use them as backgrounds. Did you also know that Linux Mint has a tool that you can have that changed automatically for you in increments of seconds or minutes. Did you also know that if you do decide to um, pick your own image, kind of like when you do it here, that when you go back to backgrounds, you think the folder got erased. I have a probably a suspicion that a lot of people think so. I assure you it did not. As a matter of fact, Linux Mint has six folders or directories full of images. I'll show you where those are located. I'll also show, um, show a little bit about uh, stretching and zooming if you have different screen resolutions or sizes of images. So uh, welcome folks. Um, I'm probably going to be around, um, should be a little bit under 15 minutes or so. And uh, subscription is usually the best. So if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, there should be a person of an icon with yellow brackets. Welcome, folks. One more time. 1920 by 1080 is what I'm filming in. So a very common thing people do is they bring in their own images or wallpaper or backgrounds and they throw them in pictures. You know, you can I'll change it to computer guy here. So right click set as wallpaper. Once you do that, um, if you're trying to go back to the original Linux Mint uh, wallpapers, you may be in for a little surprise. So right click desktop settings. The default is background. Another name for that is wallpapers. And you can see that I'm using computer guy and it puts the folder name in here. But I want to go back to the original Linux Mint background. So the first thing people aim for is this. And then they panic, thinking their hard drive erased those images. It did not. I'll show you how to retrieve them and, more importantly, the six folders. So click this and scroll down to Other. It should def default to USR Share Backgrounds. USR Share Backgrounds. Open that up. There should be six folders in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll start with XFCE because this is an XFCE desktop. So I'm just going to leave that highlighted and hit open and you'll have several images of the little rodent. The little rodent, little mouse is right here. He's black. This one here is a little white mouse. This one here, the little guy is kind of in the center. It's got the word XFCE written right on it. So you can certainly use wallpapers from here and that's the XFCE folder. So if you switch back to backgrounds, again, nothing will be here. You'll need to switch back to other. Open up backgrounds. That says Linux Mint Virginia. I believe these are the latest images. And I'll walk through each one of these folders. Again, filming in 1920 by 1080. All you do is click that and hit open. It brings in all the thumbnails. If your video cards, graphic card is low uh, res kind, it may take a couple seconds to pull this in. These are high definition images. Say hello to the Icelandic puffin. He's waving hello. So there's lots of images in here. Very nice ones. All right, let's move to the next folder. I'm not going to click backgrounds this time. I'm going to go directly to other. So Victoria is the next folder. Victoria. And those are the images from there. Also, there are also high resolution images, or at least most of them if not all of them. The next one in line is Vera. These are all name of Linux Mint's previous distribution, some of these names that you see in here, if you're curious. Some more images. So that's Vera, and this is Vanessa. So in case you don't want to bring in your own backgrounds, digital photos of the kids, the pets, the friends, or just general wallpaper off the internet. You can certainly choose any of these. Some of these are very nice. I wouldn't mind hiking in this area. 
All right, so the last folder is called Linux Mint, and it just has the standard ones. Now I'm not going to click anything in here for a second because I'm going to show you something when you're switching folders and you're going to be using this automated tool. It's called automatically select a different background from the current directory. And it has a timer on it set in minutes or seconds or hours. I'll show you this. But if you do not click the current folder that you're currently at, if you don't click on an image and you turn this tool on, it's going to be picking images from the previous folder. Let me show you this trick. It's not a desired one, but more importantly, I'm changing this to seconds so you don't have to wait the three minutes. So it will start pulling photos from the previous folder. There's no images in here that look like this or that one. I'm turning this off. If you want to use the automated tool, again, you don't have to install anything. You just have to activate it. Click on at least one image in the current folder you are viewing. It doesn't matter if I click it here or here. I'm just going to click the first one. It automatically changes the background to that. And more importantly, when you turn on the tool, this is programmable in seconds, minutes, and hours, and different time frames. The reason I'm leaving this in seconds, and you can change that also as far as how many seconds, um, so you can see the different Linux Mint logos being changed every three seconds, even after I closed well, here. I'm going to actually close this. All right. The only thing is open is simple screen recorder. All right. I'm going to right click and go back in here. It's still running. Okay. So again, you need to click on the image first and then turn the tool on and then you can change that to minutes if you like. It's going to just leave the image currently on for three minutes. Okay, so that's the current image and I think it's this one. Or I can just manually do that and turn that off. Okay, I'll go back to my pictures folder or should I make mention of the fact that you can also create your own personal folders. So a lot of people also, when they download the photographs from a service, don't want to intermix maybe some of their pictures folders and they want to create a separate directory or folder. I did that here. Right click, create folder. I called it my junk. So I'm going to use that. So basically what I'm going to do here is uh, Sam is our user for today. And if you decide to do this, I want you to notice there's no image in here of a teacup that looks like that. However, when I do this, that showed up because I assigned in settings that picture, a mugshot. If you don't assign it, you may not see this. Or there's other images to select from. You get the idea for the mugshot. The same as our user for today. And the reason that I brought this up is because a lot of people will think that they can just click on their home folder and it'll appear here. Uh, what is a better method to do this with is actually go to other, then go to your home folder and then pick your private folder that you created. Then you can open that. Now I have the four photos and then I can pick that or that and then start my cycle if I wanted to. Random order is kind of fun too because of the fact that uh, if you have personal photos, for instance, it'll cycle those. Uh, then you can be working in the background. And uh, let me just switch folders over to this one. And I will let this cycle in seconds, starting with that image. So as you're working with your file manager for per se, I mean, three seconds is too much, but it'll cycle through backgrounds. So you can have something pleasant to look at besides your file manager, if you're working with your file manager, for instance, in a windowed environment. This will just continually cycle until I turn it off. So again, it is minutes, seconds, hours, and other time frames. Okay, now I'm going to turn that off so it doesn't continually cycle. So I'm going to turn, uh, um, turn, my, turn your attention to this one here. 
So this is a photograph that I took many years ago and it's in a vertical fashion. I've actually shown this video before. Video, let's try that again, photograph. Um, yeah, and you can see that the top of the blue is being cut off. And that is, the reason for that is because this is defaulted to zoomed. And so will your machine. If you have photographs like this and you need to see the whole thing, you may want to change that to scaled. One option. Now you can see blue sky. Where's the gray colors coming from? The gray colors are coming from here. You want that red? Now it's red. I can't click on the purple because it's not, it's a solid color, which means that this is the only one active. Okay, I'll flip this back to gray. Then I'll change this to gradient. Now this box is active and this box. So you can try different colors. I'll make that one orange and this one gray. So the gradient horizontal starts with gray on this side and gradually builds over to orange. And then our photo is in the center. If I do the vertical gradient with the same colors, again, keep in mind, you can change these. The gradient starts at gray at the very top and bleeds off to orange or changes to orange. The next one in line is called transparent and I can tell you it can do some weird effects with photos like that. I'm going to go with scaled to zoom and back to scaled and let you see that. That's some weird effects. So that's the original image with the other image superimposed on top of it. You see that rock formation kind of bleeds off. So that's transparent. Get some wacky effects on that. So I'm going back to that and back to zoomed. That's default. So again, based on your screen resolution, um, sometimes you can get different effects. I'm, I got uh, 1080 turned on. I, can, uh, I can't switch to uh, 4K because my video will terminate. But more importantly, I have the option of switching my screen res. All right, so again, tools, zoom, filler colors if you're working with smaller images. Both of these are for gradients. Only one is for the solid color. You can pick your own folders. If you do have a mugshot and you pick that one, you get the mugshot. If you decide to uh, create your own folder, the best bet is just to go with other and go find your folders, whatever it might be. Okay. I can even pick a subfolder inside of my pictures folder. I don't even know what I have in most of these. But more importantly, if you go back to backgrounds, you'll need to go back to other than this background and then pick your subfolder, whichever the ones you want. I'll pick Virginia and leave it like that. And if you do decide to change this manually, I will use Painter Guy, set as wallpaper, and you right click on the screen, this will change with it. You will have to go find that folder again through other. So if you are doing it that way, you went to other and you panicked, USR, share, backgrounds, then pick the folder. You notice that the XFCE is now on the bottom. There's still six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I showed you two ways of doing this. Okay, and then from here you can pick your image. Thank you for watching.